Uh, my name is John Kadivani and this is my NH STI. So today we're at Babashiro Motorsports joined by John again. He has a beautiful Wagon STI. Wagon STI is a pretty hard to come by. In my life, my short 21 years, I don't think I've seen too many wagons. So John, tell us how you came across such a beautiful car. Uh, this is of sentimental value. I was given as a gift. And as you say, in the hard to come by, um, according to my research, basically it between the range of 200, 500 of them um, for the wagon, STI model of the bad guy. And basically after the bad guy, there was no other wagon through the, the blow by and the Hawkeye. Because the other <coughs> wagon I normally see is the GC8, which is should be the older version yes, of this. Yes. So tell me how your journey started, because photos I've seen of this car back in the day, I think around 2012, 2013, the car was pretty much stock. Yes. So tell me how you got it to being what it is today? Um, basically, as you all know, life's a journey. Yeah. And basically, even you, from the day you are a small toto to date, yeah. many changes that have happened. Uh, originally, the car was blue and yellow with many, many, many stickers. Yeah. And to date, as you can see, it's reached here. Uh, looks nice. More, more coming to it. Really? Yeah, what, more what coming could you to it. Uh, so recently, I got uh, an, an N12 STI engine that was broken, and I'm basically forging it. And also, in line, there's a new setup coming in. Uh, that's uh, 35H2, uh, Garrett 35H2, but it's the GT version. Mm -hmm. And also, wanted to change the external waste gauge to a tile um, uh, 38 millimeter. Okay, so uh, I'd like us to have a look under the hood. Uh, <laughs> engine bay is pretty unique. Most STIs I see, it's basically the intake manifold is red. So what made you change it to pink? And also we can talk about the fact that you don't have a top mount intercooler. The fact that your turbo is quite different. Your exhaust looks, your downpipe basically. You have an external west gate. I can see, I think you have coilovers. So we can talk about that. So let's start with what people want to know. Turbo. Turbo, yeah. So the turbo is a GT 376R. Um, I got it for a deal and basically oh, one thing I would, I would like to mention about this build it's been a build on a really cost efficient basis because basically people come builds to be really expensive and yeah. one, one thing I would really want to get outside there is it doesn't have to be expensive for you to buy it or it, has, it doesn't have to be branded so and so so that it works this uh, is the mentality whereby, oh, if I don't run a Garrett, if I don't run a, an AEG block. True. And basically, if you look at uh, what guys are doing, uh, like let's say, let's talk about the block. Um, AEG block, fine. A good company, good reviews, job, perfect. But basically, locally, you have guys who are building their own cars, who are building their own blocks, and basically, I'm one of them. Um, I've seen FPP are doing some of that. As you saw also, George Betts' uh, car also is not an IG block. Um, I don't know where he did this. Some, some, what's it called? Fununu, isn't it? Fununu, Mafununu. Oh, yeah, yes. Mafununu, what was some of the car ones, yeah. Yeah, I guess he did this car in Dubai. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, uh, also, George Nicholas' car, it's, the, the block was done in UK. So basically, it doesn't have to be a term of brand. It's just a matter of how does it work and how does it work. 
and what are your expectations out of the bill? Yeah. yeah, and how everything works in sync. And what about your front mount? Uh, front mount, the front mount actually was among the first things that happened in this car. This was about four years ago. So it's a two spot, a two spot uh, front mount cooler that's black, came black from the manufacturer, mm -hmm. and it's fitted for about 600 uh, wheel HP. So basically, this turbo steel, this turbo steel cannot. <laughs> cannot outdo the the size of this yeah, particular car. Yeah. Yeah. So John, tell yes. me about the suspension setup of the car, about the brakes, the drive line. Uh, for the suspension, it's running on uh, HKS Hypermax uh -huh. for the race trucks, not street coilovers, the race trucks. Uh, brakes, stock, stock Brembo's, four pots. Uh, running uh, stock jet pads, but soon we are putting in uh, the Touareg uh, six spots. Touareg? Yes, the Touareg six spots. So the marriage between JDM and German. And German. Yeah, that's yes. pretty cool. So in like another month or so, yeah. it should be in. Yeah. And it's still the normal all wheel drive symmetric system. It's the same stock gearbox, um, clutch is on, which is like the clutch is uh, stage three. Uh, competition clutch, CC. Uh, yeah, that's about it on drive train. Yeah.
So John, I'm really thankful for letting us review your car today. Uh, thank you, sir. It's one crazy car. Thank you. Um, you guys, if you don't know this car, it's the car that came second in best build category at the last Sunset GT, uh, April Sunset GT. So we're hoping to see you yes. next Sunset GT. Yes. But it's just an amazing car, man. Thank you. So thanks a lot. And one day. guys, please like the video, share the video, comments, suggestions, always welcome. Thank you. Hey, yeah, but he is special. <laughs> <laughs>